Diabetes is the name given to a group of different conditions, in which, there is too much glucose in the blood. The pancreas either cannot make insulin, or, the insulin it makes is not enough, and, cannot work properly. Without insulin doing its job, glucose builds up in the blood, leading to high blood glucose levels, which cause the health problems linked to diabetes. There are two main types of diabetes. Type 1 is less common, usually affecting children and young adults, but it can occur at any age. Type 2 is a lifestyle disease, affecting 85 to 90 percent of all people with diabetes. It usually occurs in adults, but younger people and even children are now getting affected by this lifestyle disease. Diabetes affects millions of people and is a very serious lifelong health problem. However, keeping diabetes in control is a difficult task, as more than half of the care for diabetes is self-driven. This makes it important to be self-aware. Nearly 44 lakh Indians, in their most productive years, aged 20 to 79, aren't aware that they are diabetic a disease that exposes them to heart attack, stroke, amputations, nerve damage, blindness, and kidney disease. The diabetes epidemic in the country, that killed 10 lakh people in 2011, has also thrown up an interesting trend. The latest global figures on diabetes, released by the International Diabetes Federation, IDF, has raised a serious alarm for India, by saying, that nearly 52% of Indians aren't aware that they are suffering from high blood sugar. India is presently home to 62 million diabetics, an increase of nearly 2 million in just one year. India is second only to China, which is home to 92.3 million diabetics. By 2030, India's diabetics numbers are expected to cross the 100 million mark. In order to fight diabetes, one must be very much aware of the symptoms of diabetes, such as high blood level of glucose, blurry vision, fatigue, thirst, frequent and painful urination, sores that do not heal, nausea, vomiting, weight loss, and hunger. Diabetes is one of the diseases that affects the endocrine system. The pancreas produces the hormone insulin. In type 1 diabetes, the insulin producing cells in the pancreas are destroyed. In type 2 diabetes, insulin is still produced but the body becomes resistant to it. Endocrinologists can help you manage your diabetes by prescribing insulin in medications and offering diet plans. Diabetes may damage almost every tissue and organ of the body the kidney being one of them. If neglected, a person could go into diabetic nephropathy. Albumin in the urine, blood urea and creatinine levels should be checked once a month. Diabetics should avoid painkillers. They should watch out for swelling of the feet, extreme fatigue, weakness and breathlessness. Obese children should also be screened for diabetes. A diabetic should take special care of his feet. Watch out for numbness, foot ulcers, and carefully examine spaces between the toes and the soles of the feet. Socks should be washed regularly, and changed every day, and one should use footwear, preferably with ankle support. Nails should not be cut short and sharp edges should be filed. Trivial foot lesions precede 85% of leg amputations in India. Almost 75% of amputations are carried out in neuropathic feet with secondary infection, which are potentially preventable. How to prevent or control diabetes? Prevention always starts with a better lifestyle. Eating healthier. Being active. Taking medicines as directed. Taking care of your body. Checking feet to make sure there is no nerve damage or interruption of blood flow. Taking care of teeth. Control high blood pressure. No smoking. Check in with your doctor at least once a month. Have your blood sugar checked along with weight, blood pressure, and feelings. 
check blood sugar levels daily by using home monitoring devices. Our paramount duty is to conquer diabetes and spread awareness among the mass. We should all gather together and celebrate World Diabetes Day. For us, this celebration should be like a daily duty. World Diabetes Day is celebrated every year on November 14. The World Diabetes Campaign is led by the International Diabetes Federation and its member associations. It engages millions of people worldwide in diabetes advocacy and awareness. World Diabetes Day was created in 1991 by the IDF and the World Health Organization in response to growing concerns about the escalating health threat that diabetes now poses. The campaign draws issues related to paramount importance to the diabetic world and keeps diabetes firmly in the public spotlight. 14th November marks the birthday of Frederick Banting, who, along with Charles Best, discovered insulin in 1922. Diabetes and its complications are largely preventable, and there are proven, affordable interventions available. Everyone is concerned, and everyone has a role to play in helping tame the tide of diabetes to protect our future. Protect Our Future is the slogan of the World Diabetes Campaign. Since 2007, iconic buildings and sites all over the world have been lighted up in blue, the color of the blue circle for diabetes. The lighting is a testimony to the power of our combined efforts to alter the diabetes landscape and provide a strong visual element to attract attention to the diabetes cause. The mission is to help people understand the importance of awareness and self-management to control diabetes. Teamwork is the ability to work together towards a common vision, the ability to direct individual accomplishments towards organizational objectives. Understanding of the complications of diabetes is necessary for controlling blood sugar and preventing or delaying and organ damages. Our healthcare systems have advanced a lot through positive transformation. Hence, diabetes can be controlled with ease if all of us are a little more aware of such a deadly disease. It is a fact that we can't solve every problem, but it is important to comprehend when we can encourage changes in diabetics and when we cannot, and have the wisdom to distinguish the two and act accordingly. Our constant effort is to help patients overcome the psychological trauma of having diabetes. Introduction of the modern ideas of food exchange explaining the improvement of quality of life on injecting insulin, imparting knowledge to the patients about insulin administration and injection sites, creating alertness of the consequences of hyperglycemia, understanding the symptoms of hypoglycemia are major steps in fighting and preventing diabetes. All diabetic patients should be well equipped so that they can handle the disease with smoothness and ease and live a better and tension-free life. Now that we have a brief idea about what diabetes actually is and what it can do to us and our dear ones, we should take the necessary measures by means of which we can achieve a better living for ourselves and everyone around us and banish diabetes from the vicinity of our well-being.